Cho, the first pro I could find on this card was his pace. Now, he's very fast off the mark, he has a great acceleration and he has great sprint speed. And when exiting skill moves, because of the good acceleration, he can do it very quickly and use that burst of pace to beat defenders. Also on the wing, when you get the ball and you flick the right stick forward, this guy is great at that. As you know, he's got great ball control, so we can keep it under control, flick the ball forward and run at full speed. So if you do like to counter attack people, then this card is absolutely perfect for that. After that, the next pro with this card was his agility. Now his whole dribbling in general was absolutely insane, but the agility was the thing that really made him stand out. Now I've already used a few 5 star skillers this year on FIFA 20, and he definitely performed skill moves the fastest. I haven't tried Neymar yet or Ronaldo, so I'm not too sure about those two, but so far out of the skill levels of use, he is definitely the fastest. He performs them quick, he can change direction very quickly, and it does perform the skill motions very very fast what is very helpful um, when you do want to beat players and if you are a skiller like me the faster they perform with the easier it is and the faster you can go into the next skill combo so that is the next pro with this card and then the final one is the curve now as i already mentioned this guy has 80 curve so when inside the box i'd recommend taking those finesse shots near post or a cross goal as they are very very effective because the ball does move a lot and it is hard for keepers to save this guy's shot power isn't the greatest so with the power shots i wouldn't recommend go with them so when you're inside the box just take the finesse shot and most of the time it will go in especially do if you chem style on him to help improve that shooting and then the final con and the only real con i could find with this card was his strength now he's not very strong at all he does get pushed off the ball in those shoulder to shoulder battles but apart from that doesn't really have too many bad things going for him he has a four star weak foot this year as well instead of a three star so he can very comfortably finish on that left foot as well as his right what is very helpful he has the 92 dribbling as the key stat and he does only have the medium low work rate now that might be a problem for some people but for me personally i didn't find a problem at all he was always in the correct position and as I did play him in the 4-3-3 formation, so maybe as a right forward or even a right mid he might get lost a bit more, but in the right wing position he was absolutely perfect. So guys, this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. So moving on to the overview for Sancho, on the enjoyment scale I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. As you already mentioned at the start of this video, he is one of my favourite players in real life and he's definitely already in my top 5 favourite players on FIFA 20. Competitiveness wise, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. The only things that you let this card down is that the physical isn't the greatest and then also the shot power and the long shots. But apart from that, as a winger, this guy is very good. And with a few informs as well, these things would definitely be corrected. Skilling, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Very solid skiller, very fast, great agility as I did expect with this card and then I think a fair overall rating is a solid 8 out of 10 would I recommend to pick this card up definitely he's very fun got some great links has a great nation plays in a great league and just is not overall a very fun card